In this video we're going to explain what torpor is, and why hummingbirds sleep upside down. So let's get started. The hummingbird, like the Anna's hummingbird you see here, is such a unique bird that despite its size it can survive even in the winter when the snow is falling. It does this, by going into a hypothermic state called torpor. All hummingbirds enter torpor at night, when temperatures are low, and when food is scarce. Similar to hibernation, torpor is a deeper level of unconsciousness than sleep. As we shall see, this is due to a suppressed metabolic state. But unlike hibernation, which can be for weeks or months, torpor is a short-term state of unconsciousness. Torpor has also been described as involuntary. This is because it can happen any time as it's based on daily conditions. In this way, it's unlike seasonal hibernation which animals prepare for voluntarily. Hummingbirds go into torpor every night for 5 to 10 hours. They do this to conserve energy because with the fastest metabolism in the animal kingdom, about 100 times faster than an elephant, hummingbirds would starve to death in 4 to 5 hours without any food. Food they would struggle to find because they don't have specialist eyes to help them to find food at night. In torpor, the hummingbird slows its metabolism down by up to 95% to burn energy at a slower rate. It does this in three ways, by decreasing its core temperature, its breathing, and its heart rate. 1. Decrease temperature. Other animals can enter torpor but only hummingbirds nightjars and one species of mousebird can enter a state of deep torpor. A hummingbird in deep torpor can drop its body temperature down from about 40 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius. That's a drop of 30 degrees. In Fahrenheit, it's a 50 degree drop, down from 104 degrees. The black metal tail hummingbird that lives high up in the Andes Mountains, as high as 5,000 meters above sea level, can drop its temperature down even further, to an astonishing 3.3 degrees Celsius, a drop of over 36 degrees. In Fahrenheit it's a 66 degree drop, down to 38 degrees. If a human's core body temperature dropped just 2 degrees Celsius from 37 to 35 degrees, symptoms of mild hypothermia would start to occur. If left untreated, hypothermia may result in heart and lung failure and ultimately, death. 2. Decreased breathing. In torpor, the Anna's hummingbird can reduce its respiration rate from 245 breaths per minute to just 6. The human equivalent would be one breath every 2 to 3 minutes. In torpor the Anna's hummingbird can take this one step further by suspending its breathing for up to 5 minutes. This is absolutely incredible. 3. Decreased heart rate. In torpor, the Costa's hummingbird can drop its heart rate down from 900 beats a minute to a low 50 beats per minute. The blue-throated mountain gem hummingbird, the largest hummingbird species that nest in the United States, can lower its heart rate from a phenomenal 1260 beats per minute, to 50 beats per minute. The human equivalent of this massive drop in heartbeat, would be about 4 heartbeats per minute. Now, here's how the hummingbird wakes up from torpor. One to two hours before sunrise the hummingbird's internal clock causes its wing muscles to vibrate. This raises body temperature while breathing and heart rate begin to increase. Not long after that, it's back to being the fastest bird in the world. Please note, as the hummingbird wakes from torpor, it must not be interfered with or it may die. And now, why do hummingbirds sleep upside down? Hummingbirds normally sleep perched in an upright position, like this blue-chinned sapphire or this Anna's hummingbird. However, if you see a hummingbird that appears to be sleeping upside down, it's because it's fallen into a deep state of torpor, and then it slipped on its perch. Since torpor is an unresponsive state, unlike sleeping, the hummingbird in torpor cannot adjust its grip. So if the hummingbird in torpor is perched on a smooth bird feeder, or a thinner clothesline or branch, it will not take much to tip the delicate balance. Their tiny claws however, have locked them onto the perch so they don't fall off while in this temporary state of suspended animation. Hummingbirds may sleep or go into torpor on bird feeders if it's in a safe space, and they can wake up beside a reliable food source. Or, they may simply stay up too late feeding, and fall asleep with exhaustion. Torpor allows the bird with the fastest metabolism to get up at sunrise, refreshed and ready for the next day's feeding frenzy, even in the winter when the snow is falling. So now you know what torpor is, and why hummingbirds appear to sleep upside down. It's all part of their amazing design. Thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing, liking and leaving a comment. To discover more, click the video or videos displayed here on this end screen or browse our channel. Thanks for your support.